Well, the link that we're making between the Board of Directors and Trade Compliance is intentionally done with an eye towards the four key roles that the board has as their core responsibilities. The first role they have is in governance and oversight. They're ultimately responsible for enterprise success or failure. They have a role of oversight, which is being aware and putting accountabilities in place. It's thinking about the immediate, the midterm, and the long term. They think about return on investment, strategies for profit, and strategies for stakeholder value. The question that the area of governance and oversight asks and answers is, what do we stand for and what are our goals? The second major area that the board is responsible for is strategy, and this generally links to growth strategies because that's the mandate of all corporations to continue to survive and sustain their success. This flows from mission, vision, and values and creates the alignment between plans, strategies, and tactics. The question that the board has to ask and answer in the area of strategy is, how do we achieve our objectives? The third area of board oversight is risk intelligence. This speaks to the trade-offs between investment and return, upside opportunity and downside exposure, proactive approach versus a reactive approach. And the question that the area of risk intelligence asks and answers is, what could compromise success now and in the future? The last area that boards are responsible for is a very important one, and it's brand and reputation integrity. It's all about the brand promise that starts usually with a statement like, we will. This is emerging as probably the most significant part of a board's responsibility because brands are either advancing or they're declining. The board and senior leadership are the stewards and owners of brand integrity. If you take the four of these components put together, governance and oversight, strategy, risk intelligence, and brand and reputation, and link them to globalization and the ambitions of the corporation to grow internationally, we create a link between those four pieces and the trade compliance strategy.